Hello, my name is Callum Hind. I'm 17 years old and I'm currently studying NQ Film and Broadcasting uh, at the Air Campus at Ayrshire College and this is how I am coping through isolation. Let's go. To pass the time, I've been isolating here in my back garden to just get away from everyone. Just not because of, you know, anything serious. I just don't like people. But to pass the time, I've been... Uh, devising my own exercise routine and I think it's important to keep yourself fit and keep yourself healthy and that's exactly what I've been doing so I'm going to show you uh, the tough and rigorous workout schedule and put myself through uh, during this situation. Right, let's go. Right, we're going to start with these things, can't remember what they're called but um, these things we're going to do 50, um, it's just a small number, this is pretty much my Warm up when you think about it, but yeah, this is this is what I do for my warm up. It's fifty press ups. Let's go. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut it, make it look as if we've done fifty, and then and then just see what happens from there. Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. So that's easy work. Right, let's move on to running on the spot. I've run on the spot for 10 minutes, like most athletes do, and I'll show you why. Let's run on the spot. Yeah, we're just going to do the same thing as we did there. We're just going to cut it make as a make it look as if I've run for 10 minutes. Well, yeah, we could do like a sort of montage sort of thing, but I'm not Picasso, I'm not an artist. Here we go. That's 10 minutes done. Now, uh, what else is there to do except lift some weights? Now, I don't have weights here, but I've got a cat, so... <sighs> Cut it, uh, and make it look as if I've done it like 50 times or something, okay? a little bit slower after that workout thing and uh, I'm going to tell you guys a little thing uh, or two about myself. I think it's important maybe to learn a bit more about me to learn how I'm coping with this. One eternity later. So what did I do before isolation? I stayed in the house. But now that that's the only thing we can do, I'm finding it a bit tough. Anyway, here's the things that did get me by before the isolation and I'll tell you soon what's getting me by now. So, I'll start off. So I did, I did play a lot of places, I still do, but that's how I used to get by, just stick on FIFA or whatever and get along with it. It's pretty much a man's best friend, isn't it? You're probably thinking, the amount of PlayStation you play, there's no chance you've got a girlfriend. Well, you're right. Oh, that just sounds, that just sounds like this. Oh. Next up, it's this bad boy. Now I know what you're thinking, Callum, you wrestle. No, I don't wrestle. No, I just like watching it. Um, which, once again, wrestling fan, likes to play PlayStation. Yeah, this guy definitely doesn't have a lot of social interaction anyway. The last thing is writing, I know that's pretty... But anyway, let's just read a little bit from what I write. Dear Diary. Oh, not gonna read that one. A love poem to myself by Cup. No, we're not gonna read that one. Let's just move on to what I'm getting up to now. So what am I getting up to now? Well, we've been in this situation for a couple of weeks now and obviously at the start it was a bit challenging. Um, but I have been uh, getting by by completing work, by, by, by interacting with other students and lecturers and we've been doing that through Microsoft Teams. In terms of getting college work done myself nowadays, um, obviously it's with this, the course I'm doing you're not going to have the quality of equipment in the house that you have in the college. It's, it's self-explanatory isn't it? So that's that's maybe one of the problems that I come into. It is one of the problems I come into. It isn't just work, also just spending time and being creative and whether it's just coming up with a concept for a script or 
filming stuff, but sometimes I just get the phone out and just film random stuff. And if something funny comes from it, something funny comes from it. If you're sitting about on the couch watching TV, do that. I find myself watching TV plenty of times with absolutely nothing, no care in the world, which is, you know, what a lot of people do anyway. And that's uh, what my Saturday nights consist of because, once again, I lack human interaction beforehand and now, obviously. I'm gonna be honest, now, obviously you, you listen to me now, I sound like the life of the party, I sound like an absolute quality dude. Mm, I, mm, I kinda am, I'm about 60-40, you know, sort of thing. I'm struggling with the, the lack of, of interacting with, with people in person, I know we're doing it through you know, different apps and stuff like that. With school, I sort of struggled with interaction with people and going to college, I managed to, to build on my skills because I was with people that had similar interests that, to what I did. Um, you know, and now that I don't have that, it's sort of been took away, it's difficult to deal with. But I think as time goes on and you develop a routine, like my you know strict and tough workout routine, like the hobbies, like the college work, I think you get yourself in a cycle of right, I, I can't do this, I can't get through this, and that's the way I've been thinking, I've struggled and I've sort of been upset a lot of times because it's tough this situation being stuck in the house, you just need to sit and think, I, I can get through this because it's not difficult, just occupy yourself, get work done, find some hobbies to do, and I think you'll be just fine. So positives and negatives to this experience, well, one of the positives to this experience is that I've actually really started to narrow down the sort of person I am work-wise. You know, I was like, in college, always um, straight to the point, doing work, getting it completed and stuff like that. Now that we're in this situation, I'm like, right, let's actually do stuff, let's get stuff done. You know, because you were in the college and that's what you were doing. Now you're in the house, there's plenty of other stuff to do except doing work, but I found myself, you know, becoming a more concentrated person and trying to get stuff done, which I think is, I think that's a good positive for me. Another positive is that, you know, I have had communication with other people, not just necessarily from the college, just other people, and, you know, it makes me sound like an absolute loser, but I like talking to people and I think that in this situation, any conversation is good conversation. I've managed to have a lot of conversations with people and uh, that's interesting and that's fun. And uh, that's another positive. The negatives for me, it's tough obviously, we can go almost a whole year finding new friends and, and managing to strike up, you know, relationships with people that have got similar interests and stuff that you do. Um, and it's tough, yeah, obviously getting put away from that, um, but that's out of our hands and I think the college have dealt with it very well, so that's another positive. Right, hello, I just wanted to end this with a message saying, please stay safe, wash your hands, eat your greens, and subscribe to ACTV.